My name is Sharon, and this is a tutorial that I've made that will show you how to make the most of your buffs and your debuffs. I use Citrina's buff frames to customize the appearance and position of my buffs and my debuffs, and I will be using another add-on called Need to Know to keep track of short duration buffs. Uh, these aren't the only add-ons that you can use to do these things, but they are the best ones that I've found for the purpose. If it's not already apparent to you, the default UI is terrible at just about everything so tweaking it is to your advantage. Also, I just add a caveat, I don't claim to know much about rogues, I just happen to use one in this video, so if I do something wrong, feel free to let me know, but I probably won't even level this guy to the maximum level anyway, so it's kind of a moot point. To begin with, the default UI places your debuffs and your buffs in the top right corner of your screen, here. This is a lousy place, since you generally need to be looking at what's going on in the middle of your screen, and because reacting to certain debuffs or buffs will almost always be crucial to executing a fight mechanic successfully. So let's begin and see how we can use this add-on to our advantage. To begin, type SBF options to bring up the menu screen. You have several options and I encourage you to play around with them. To begin tweaking, what I will do is toggle the combo box that will switch between buffs and debuffs. They are independent with this add-on, so we'll start with buffs. I want to be able to see my buffs if I want to, but I don't want them to take up a whole lot of real estate on my screen. I will leave them at the default scale size, since it's pretty small with my UI. I advise you to set the number of buffs very high, since you won't be able to see them all if you only display 20 out of 30 or more, so I set mine around 50, just to be on the safe side. Also configure the way you want them oriented. I want mine more or less like the default in rows on the top right corner of my screen. The anchor is where they start and the growth is the direction they will grow in. Also take the time to tweak both the vertical and horizontal spacing on this screen. Next I tweak the timers. Fizz Quantrata is uh, too big of a font in my opinion for this purpose, so I switched to Arial Narrow. This is all the more I really want to do with my buffs, but if you want to, you have a whole ton of other options available to you depending on what it is that you want to do. Keep in mind that this add-on is extremely flexible. Now, the ability to manipulate your debuff frame is a huge benefit of this add-on. In fact, it's probably the primary benefit. When I get a debuff, I want to know it immediately, as it's almost always important. For this reason, I check the box marked big so that I can have a scale at two times the normal size or more if you want to. Uh, this will make it harder for you to miss your debuffs whenever you get them. I also place the debuff frame closer to the middle of my screen, just to the left of my character. I tweak the number that I want to track to 9, and how I want them to populate, and then I also change the text for the timers. Now for the debuffs. What you really want to avoid doing is having a debuff up so often that you get in the habit of ignoring it because once you start ignoring your debuff frame you have circumvented the whole point of the exercise. In order to avoid this, I set up a filter for any debuff that will be up often that I wish to ignore. Specifically, Chill of the Throne, which is the debuff you get inside of Ice Crown Citadel. And that's pretty much it for Citrina buff frames. Now, when I said earlier that I don't care about my buffs, that was only partly true. There are some short duration buffs that are correspondingly time sensitive that I care about quite a bit and like to keep very close track of. To do this, I use an add-on called Need to Know. The reason you want to keep track of these buffs is they're often essential to making your DPS as high as possible. Either they are essential for your rotations, or they allow you to stack all of your buffs together under, for example, Heroism. To do this, I use an add-on called Need to Know. To bring it up, simply type in slash NTK for Need to Know, and you'll see it pop up. This will display your buff as a bar and can track a whole lot of different things. I use it mostly to keep track of my own short duration buffs, but you can also use it to track a whole lot of things for your target target of target, focus, etc. This will be very useful if you like to PvP and, for example, want to see clearly when Divine Shield or Pain Suppression is cast on your enemy. For this demo, I'll set up a bar for Slice and Dice. You simply choose which buff or debuff you want to time. In this case, it's going to be Slice and Dice. 
then confirm the bar type. We want a buff, and this is the default setting. And then we want to make sure that it's monitoring us, which is also a default setting. Tracking a buff that has a duration measured in seconds using minutes isn't very helpful, so we're going to set it to something more appropriate. I like to see the icon that's set up here, and I also like to set the color to something that's more attention getting. And then all you need to do is retype slash NTK to close out this menu again, and then all that's left to do is to test it on some random creature. And seems to be working fine.